Hi everyone, happy Listen First Friday. My name is Ruth Gopin and I'm the founder of an organization called AmeriExchange. Um, and I'm here today at the Lincoln Memorial, hanging out with my good friend Abraham Lincoln. And this is a memorial that I've come to my whole life. I grew up right around here, uh, so I've, I come here all the time. And it's one of my favorite places to come to because I love seeing everyone else that also comes here. Um, every day, all the time, you have hundreds and thousands of people streaming through these halls, reading the words of Abraham Lincoln, and they're all coming from different places with different stories. Um, they're coming from all across the country and sometimes from all around the world. And Abraham Lincoln means something a little bit different to everyone depending on their own story and their own background. But everyone is here to, to sort of take pictures and, and read the words of this great great president who has been enshrined in our memories as the words above his statue say. And I think that that's something that I've always loved about living here in D.C. is seeing that, is seeing everyone come from all different parts of the country and seeing how important this place is to them, um, to see, seeing how important this memorial and, and many of the other memorials here on the National Mall speak to people and speak to their pride in being American. And I think that that's something important to keep in mind is that we still have a democracy, we're still talking with each other, um, um, and yes, things are polarized, and yes, we need to listen more, but I think it's also important to have pride in, in where we're at um, and where we've come from, and that we've come from, from a place, from these steps where the civil rights movement happened, where um, that is in commemoration of a bloody civil war where there was violence, um, and certainly no one was listening to each other. In fact, we were killing each other um, to, to commemorate that and to commemorate that we're not there anymore um, and that hopefully we're not going back there. Um, hopefully we're continuing to move towards more and more listening and more and more sharing stories um, and hearing stories and listening first to those stories before we pass judgment, before we resort to violence. So that's my message for Listen First Friday.